What's up guys, welcome back to another Hank's Baits video, and uh, today we're going to be making a lipless crankbait like you saw in the time lapse, uh, but other than that, um, I also got some really cool colors, uh, this is a Createx uh, Pearlized White, it's going to look really good for scales, as well as Createx Pearlized Blue, which is going to look really cool for detail, as well as color shifting uh, violet blue to green, which is going to look awesome. And uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, I made some really cool lures in the past. Uh, my last video was a baby bass swim bait along with uh, another lipless crankbait. So uh, go check this out. I really appreciate it. And uh, other than that, I'll cut this out and get right to work. Now we're going to be doing the drumming process, which is basically just making a simple shape out of this uh, piece of wood that we already cut out that we already cut out and then we're gonna do some sanding and uh, fix up so that way uh, we can get everything put in, uh, all the hardware and everything, so that way it's ready to be painted. Alright guys, so I just finished this rolling process, which like I mentioned earlier, is just a basic shape out of what the lure is going to look like. Um, but after this, I'm going to do a lot of sanding, uh, like there's all these cuts and divots from the drum line here, so uh, that's going to have to be cleaned up. I'm going to sand it quite a bit, and then uh, after that we're going to do uh, add all the hardware uh, at the lead. You guys can see my lead pot for the first time. And um, other than that, I want the lure itself to sit in the water kind of like this, like a lipless crankbait basically. And uh, then that way it's tilted forward. So I'm gonna put the lead probably right around here. And then the hook hanger, back hook hanger, and then the line tie right, right up in the front. But other than that, uh, now I'm gonna do a bunch of sanding, catch you guys up once I'm done with that. All right guys, so I just finished sanding. Looks really good, I love the shape. Uh, it's already pretty smooth so far. I didn't sand it fully, like you can see some notches right there and on the bottom a little bit, but that's okay because this is my vice here. I put a t-shirt over it, so that way um, it won't uh, get scuffed up when I'm uh, adding all the hardware and everything. But um, other than that, you can see right here, I have an X, that's gonna be the lead hole, uh, which we're gonna do after we add the hook hangers and line ties. But these are the two hook hangers as along with the front line tie. But uh, other than that, I'm going to add the hardware, drill the holes, and then I'll catch you guys up once I'm ready for the lead pot. Alright guys, lead pot's hot. I had it uh, heating up for a little. Alright, just like that. You got a lure full of lead. I'll catch you guys up once it's ready for baking soda and super glue. Alright guys, it's now time for baking soda and super glue. But doesn't that look so cool? I love how I can just melt something down and make something new out of it. But that's pretty neat. Uh, this uh, front line tie is also encased in that lead because I drilled right through. So that should be extra, 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 extra secured. And uh, basically all you have to do for baking soda and super glue is just cover your lead hole. And then it makes this really cool, uh, smooth covering that you can just sand over, which works really well. And uh, normally when people know like that you're using baking soda for making a fishing lure, <laughs> they get really confused about it. But I can see how they could, but it helps a lot. And you just add your super glue. You just need a drop or two. One off the side. There we go. So now I'm just going to let that, you see how it's smoking, uh, let that do its thing, dry off, and then I can start sanding it, and then... Uh, keep sanding it, keep sanding it, and then eventually we'll get a nice product that's ready to paint. Alright guys, so now the last and final step is to cut out the eye sockets, which I drew on both sides with this sharp tip drum bit that I got at the hardware store a couple weeks ago. Very handy for this portion of the project, but other than that, I'll catch you guys up once this is all ready for paint. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. Uh, this is how it turned out. It looks really cool. Uh, next video, which is going to be part two, is going to be me painting this. I got some uh, cool acrylic, uh, cool pearlized colors I showed you guys at the beginning. So uh, if you're looking forward to that as much as I am, go check that out. 
Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to film that because tomorrow uh, we're supposed to get a lot of snow. So I might have a snow day and might be able to do that tomorrow. But if not, it'll definitely come out the next weekend. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. And uh, if you'd like to see better pictures of my lures and other lures I have made in the past, uh, check out my Instagram at Hanks underscore Bates underscore. I'll put the username up on the screen here. But other than that, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.